of today. Hey, hey. Also, in today's video, I'm going to be using a bunch of new Maybelline products. So, I hope you guys are excited. Thanks again for watching, guys, and let's begin. The first thing is, I'm going to start off with moisturizing my skin. So, I'm using this new Garnier Skin Active New Moisture Rescue Moisturizer. I like to make sure I overly moisturize my skin. This really helps my makeup to look so much more beautiful on my skin personally. Mm. Then I'm going to move on to priming my eyes. I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation. I'm just going to apply it just like that. I love using this as a concealer, but as a concealer, it's bomb. Okay. I love it. Okay, next we're going to move on. I'm going to grab the, um, <laughs> look how dirty it is. And I'm going to go into this color right here, which is called Burnt Orange. I'm going to pop that right in the crease of her eyes. Okay, now let's move on. The next shadow we are going into is Cypress Umber. What a different kind of name. So we're going to pop this shadow right at the outer corner for our eye. Just like so. And then you bring it up a little. Then I'm going to take a little bit right in the inner crease of the eye. Then I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 505 brush. And just blend it all together very lightly. Alright guys, so as I look over the footage for today's video, I realized that when I put on the middle eyeshadow, which is the gold shadow on my lid area, it did not record. Which is like, nah, nah. I just took the Maybelline Eye Chrome in this gold shade. I'll list all the products that I used down below in the description box. And I just placed it on the middle part of my lid to really create that halo eye. I'm going to go in with this Sephora liquid liner. You can use any liner you want. Gel liner, or liquid, pencil, anything you want. But I'm going to use this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to just really cover up the lash line of her eye. Okay, next we're going to move on to lashes. So I'm using double lashes today. These are the AEL. I always mess them up. They're from Absolutely New York Lashes. Now, a lot of people talk about these lashes, but I really love them. And these lashes are really inexpensive. They retail for $2.99. $2.99. Not $299, girl. $2.99. Alright, guys. Next is foundation. I've been obsessed with this foundation it's kid you not probably one of my favorite drugstore foundation yep 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 so I'm gonna shake it up but the colors I'm using is 355 coconut if you're wondering and 360 this is a mocha baby then moving on to my concealer I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer I'm going to apply this under my eye and fun fact, I was actually not a fan of this concealer at first. I'm telling you, things just grow on you. So go back in with my beauty blender, just blend it out one more time. Then I'm going to go back in with the other side and just make sure everything blends seamlessly together. Can someone let me know why is it so hot today in New York City? Like, this look? Is it going to stay in the heat? Then I'm going to use some of this powder. This is a Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Natural Tan. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it under the eye. Next is I'm going into the brown shadow. I'm going to pop this under the lower lash on her eyes. So I'm using that same brown shadow that we used in the crease or on the lids also of the eye. Then I'm going to go in with this liner. Now this is a liner that's from Sephora. This is the Sephora Collection Wide Eyed. If that's what the liner is called, the color. <laughs> We're going to pop this on the lower lash line of her eyes. So before I apply my scar, I'm going to go back in with this brush that's from Hourglass, if you're wondering. So you saw that I only just apply the powder under the eye, the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Again, if you're wondering, it's in 320. Natural tan. Hello. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with this powder. I'm going to use this just to set it out before I apply any type of mascara or anything. So next is I'm going to go in with this uh, Maybelline Highlight Stick Duo. It comes in light, it comes in medium, and it also comes in deep. I'm going to use a deep shade. Now, I don't usually recommend for you to put cream on powder, but we're going to break the rules right now. Or, 
it's more for natural contour if you want something more drastic i think if you're my skin tone this might not be the best for you and just blend it in with my hands i'm also going to take a little bit by the my nose area Okay, then I couldn't stop myself, so I'm going in with a little bit of highlighter, a little bit more. I mean, I don't know about this product, honestly. It's It just looked a little, especially really close up, it looks really patchy on the skin. I don't know if y'all can see that, it's not really pretty. So I'm going to go over it with the MAC Gold Deposit Highlighter. This blush, brush, blush, I feel like you can like... <laughs> This is from Tarte. Now, this is called Fearless. This is probably one of my favorite, like, easy-going brushes, blushes to use. Hello. Then, lastly, to highlight the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to go into Vermeer, which is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm going to pop this in the inner corner of my eye. You don't have to do this, but it's going to help the eye to really pop even more. Then, I'm just going to apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes. This is a Maybelline Voluminous 2-in-1 mascara, if you're wondering. Now that mascara is a little dry, so I'm going to go with this one, which is from MUA Professional Makeup Academy. So I'm going to use this K-pop lip color that is from the ColourPop uh, Karuchi line. So I'm going to apply this to my lips. I've actually never worn this lip color in my life before. First time for everything. Then I'm going to go into the Maybelline Lip Color Palette. I'm going to use this color right here. And I'm going to pop this on my hand and then put it on my lips. Just to tone down the grayness of this lip color. It looks a bit more like purple. Oh, I love it. All right, guys. So this is a final look with some new Maybelline products, some new makeup products just in the general. All together, these eye chromes from Maybelline are bomb.com. When it comes to these eye contour and highlight sticks from Maybelline, I personally would not repurchase them. I just felt like those a little patchy. Also, I feel like this darker shade could be a little bit more darker. And you, my personal opinion, that's all. So that's not for me. No, thank you. No. Okay, and then when it comes to the Maybelline New York lip color palette, I actually really like it. But all together, would I repurchase it? I probably, honestly, with all the lip colors I have, I would repurchase it if I didn't have all the lip colors I have, but I like I do have all the lip colors I do have. I'm not going to repurchase it. So, and it's probably going to last a pretty long time. I got all the products on my hand. If y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up, okay? Also, let me know what you want to see down below. Subscribe. Hashtag, I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.